Uh, it's doing that vibration thing again. I hate it when it does this. Damn it. Stop. Stop it. G'day guys, what is up? Welcome to Motofeels, I'm Rob Hamilton. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now a few months ago, if you follow my Instagram, Motofeels, you would have noticed the story I put up just asking you guys what the hell is up with my phone. I had this thing for like two months, I'm well, not even two months, it's probably like a month. Um, I went on my third ride, came back home, and lo and behold, I'm filming and the whole thing's just shaking, making loud noises, loud clicky noises. In all seriousness though, like, look at it. Has this happened to anybody? Like, it's like buzzing and crackling. I'll turn the music off here. Like, it's all hummy and all weird. So I asked you guys if you knew what was wrong with it, uh, if you've had any, you know, similar, similar issues with your phone. And you guys wrote back to me, you filled my inbox up, just being like, it's your phone mount, it's your, it's your quad lock, it's your RAM, it's, you know, whatever, whatever I was using, it's stuffing up the image stability in the camera. And you guys were 100% correct. So I took my phone back to Apple and they replaced the camera image stability, the IS. Um, apparently they're super delicate, especially in the, um, the 11 Pros. I know um, some of you guys have issues with other, like Android as well and older models of the iPhone. I never had an issue with anything up until this point. I literally had this for like two months, man. And these things are pretty exy. Um, and the best thing about them is the camera. So with that gone, I was just like, what? Ah. Ah, why? Why? So I got it fixed from Apple, took like half an hour, didn't cost me anything, which is awesome, just under warranty. Um, but then it just basically meant that I couldn't use my quad lock mount anymore, which sucked. Up until now, check this little bad boy out. So this is their vibration... What's it called? This is the vibration dampener that quad lock has just released. Check this little thing out. It's got little shuckies here. Little squeezy boys. Um, and this is pretty, pretty much going to save your phone from all those harmful high frequency vibrations that destroy your, your cameras. And it happens to a lot of the devices. So um, it's, it's, it's so far, it's working really well. I've been riding with it for about two weeks now. And my camera is still oh so fresh. It's so lovely. I'm so happy. I'm so stoked. I can use it again. Wireless charging mount. Boom. Works a dream. Everything just fits perfectly. It's, um, it's, a, it's a good time. So the price of one of these bad boys comes in at $24.95 Australian, which is quite cheap considering, you know, how much a camera could cost on your phone. They do have a list on their website as well, which shows all the motorcycles um, affected by the vibration. So go on the website, check it out, um, see if your bike's there. And if it is, make sure you pick one of these bad boys up. Now when my phone did start clapping out, I, um, I hit quad lock up and I was just like, is this a, is this a normal thing? And unfortunately they said yeah it was but i don't i don't blame quad lock at all i think it's just it's just an issue with the hardware the camera hardware on the um, apple devices or the smartphone devices um but it's just awesome that they ended up spending their time they put they put a lot of phones through some you know extensive testing and, you know it, it sucks it sucks that we need this now like it's just another thing to add on and it gets a little bit bigger but it's just you know it's just one of these things that you can't help bikes vibrate and um, and this and this solves it. So I think it's a you know I think it's a worthwhile investment anyway. That's just my opinion. Okay, so what's in the box? There isn't much. There is the Allen hex key. There are the fitting instructions, and there is the dampener itself. The instructions show you how to mount the dampener to all the different quad lock style heads but it's all relatively the same. The dampener has a captive bolt built into it. So mounting is super easy. You just remove your old head, you stick the dampener in between the head and the mount, and then you just replace the head back onto the dampener. And like, that is it. There is a little bit of movement after you fit everything up and you put your phone back on. It may feel like, you know, the phone's about to fall off or something like that. I quite like assure you that it is very secure and that is just to allow the movement, the vibration and everything so it doesn't really affect your phone or the harm frequencies don't affect your camera or your phone at all. I was a bit worried about it at first uh, but I've used it for about two weeks now and I've had no issues whatsoever. I can still read Google Maps fine and I'm confident that it's not gonna fall off. I'm trying to just think if there's anything else I need to say about it. I just, I just don't think there is. Like it sticks out a little bit further. You know the mounts on there it comes out a little bit further but I'm just like whatever. I like using my phone when I'm riding. I like having maps up there. I like just seeing what's happening all the time um, and, and this just fixes the problem. You know, like I said, I've been on a few rides now and it's just, um, it's been working a dream. So, nice work Quadlock, you've uh, you've nailed it. Um, yeah, this is, it's a, it's a good time. It's nice to have my phone. 
back in my face again. All right, guys, that's that's pretty much it. I love my quadlock devices, so I thought I'll just share with you guys how I, you know, my thoughts on on this little bad boy. So that's it. It's pretty much it. So easy to install. It's pretty cheap. It's gonna save your phone. Oh. I almost forgot, use code MOTOFEELS for 10% off any of their products. 10% off, baby. I've got you. I've got you bad. All right, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe. If you want to see some more of this stuff weekly, um, I've got some massive plans happening. Hey, oh, baby. And I'll be taking this thing on a 4,500 run right around New South Wales uh, in just a few weeks' time, or say a few weeks. We've actually pushed it to next month just because uh, logistics and everything. It's going to be an epic ride. Me and Nick from Triumph Sydney are going on just this massive tour around Australia, not Australia, around New South Wales. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be lots of gear. I'm building my bike up. We're getting sick helmets. It's going to be just ridiculous. Uh, so just hit subscribe if you want to see that sort of stuff uh, coming up very, very soon. Uh, that is it for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.